In this video, we're going to talk about the Publix pre-made pizza dough, and they make two kinds. They make this already rolled out pizza dough that you see right here, and then they make pizza dough which is just in a ball, and you can shape that yourself. If you watch my previous videos on making pizza on the Kamado Joe or using commercial pizza dough from a box or from a package like the Pillsbury that I used previously, you know that that's uh, somewhat of a trick to make the pizza the right size and get it to lay out the way you want it. So let me show you how this is going to work here. It comes in these packages here and they're good for about a week when you get these. You need to use them within a week. They do have a date on them, so check the date. They're in the uh, bakery section of Publix. You keep it in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. And they make it just so simple. Bring it out. Do just a little bit of shaping, but you really don't need to do anything except that to get it ready to build your pizza. So let's build the pizza. I'm going to build my pizza on this piece of parchment paper here because I do not have a pizza peel. And there are unlimited numbers of ways that you can create your pizza, build your pizza. So. This is just one way that I do it, and I'm going to brush on some olive oil here just to give it a little uh, extra flavor, mainly around the edge. Then I'll come back with just a little sprinkle of garlic around on that. Now we're ready for the sauce. I'm using just a uh, store-bought uh, sauce here, nothing fancy. I'm going to put a couple of spoonfuls on just to get it around pretty well, but I don't want to overdo it with the sauce. If you overdo it with the sauce, you're going to add a lot of moisture to the pizza, and chances are it's going to take longer to cook. But just a good cover of sauce is really all you need. The mozzarella cheese. I usually go a little bit liberal with the mozzarella cheese. Some pepperoni now, which you could use Italian sausage. I think the last one I put some bacon on it, which was really good. I like the bacon. But you can never really get too much pepperoni on a pizza. And now we're going to come back with some onion. Now I cut my onions a little bit small because I'm only going to cook this pizza for about eight or nine minutes at 550 degrees and my Kamada Joe. And then the last thing for this pizza is some green pepper. And all I have to do now is get my Kamado Joe with the pizza stone up to 550 degrees and we'll be ready to cook. Let's take it out to the grill. Now one thing I forgot to show you is you can come back and kind of bunch up the edge of your crust like this to give it some additional texture so it's not truly a uh, real thin flat crust but a little bit rolled up. And you can do this before you put your toppings on, which might be the best way to do that. But I left enough space to where I could come back and roll this up. Just pinch it in, pinch and roll, right on around. And that makes it look a little more appetizing, I think. Now we're ready. I'm going to cook this for nine minutes, and then we'll check it. 
Let's check it at nine minutes and see what it looks like. It is more than done. Like some uh, bubbles in the pie crust, this is a little more than I had planned on, but that's fine. Perfect. Well, this was cooked at eight minutes at 500 degrees. I think is a uh, little better pizza. The first one actually burned on the bottom. It still tastes fine, but it did turn black on the bottom. And this one, uh, turned out really good on the bottom. You can see that crust on the bottom there. So the lesson learned here is 500 at eight minutes, check it then. Make sure you check the bottom to ensure that it's not burning, that you're toasted like that. And I think you're good to go. Try these pizza doughs pre-made from Publix, and I don't think you can go wrong. It's a lot easier doing it this way than making your own dough, but it's much better than the Pillsbury dough seen in my previous video, and here's the link you can watch that video at. Good cooking, bon appetit. We're gonna enjoy these pizzas right now. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Ensure you click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.